Have you ever needed to bring a static character to life but didn't want to spend hours rigging? Maybe you just want some subtle, ambient motion, like a background character shifting slightly or an animal breathing, just enough to make the scene feel alive. I've run into this problem many times, so let's see how we can set up a quick and dirty rig in just a few minutes. Here's my example. A character taking a selfie. It's easy to imagine her somewhere in the background moving just enough to sell the illusion of life. First, let's organize the scene. I'll create separate layers for skin and bones, then freeze the character so I don't mess anything up while rigging. Now let's build the skeleton. I'll open the quick access menu, type in bone tool and choose create bones. Starting at the pelvis, I move upward, rough spine, neck, and finally the head. For the arms, I add another bone chain to the spine. Then mirror it for the other side. That's enough. Now I adjust the bones so they match the character's posture, sit neatly inside the mesh. Next, skinning. I pick the mesh, apply a skin modifier and add all the bones. For a quick setup, I hit apply under weight solver and Max does the work automatically. To see things clearly, I throw on a clean gray material so textures don't get in the way. The heat map shows how much influence each bone has. Hot areas move a lot, cold areas move a little, and no color means no influence. That's fine for now, let's move on. Time to create controllers. These are just shapes, circles, rectangles, or even 3D objects that make animation simpler. In my case, I want three controls, the whole character, the upper body, and the head.
For the arm, I'll add something different, an IK controller, which lets the last bone move the entire chain. Perfect for arms and legs. All right, rigging is done. Let's animate. I move the controllers, set some keyframes, and right away, we've got life. But wait, the legs are moving strangely. That means the skinning needs a little fix. I go back. Select the problem vertices and reassign the weights. Now the lower body is controlled only by the right bone and everything else is set to zero. And that's it. A fast, lazy rig that works great for background characters. Thanks for watching.